Let's begin by breathing in and out. Okay? Whenever you see questions, do not panic. Just relax. Hello, some Nigerians. Welcome back to the School of Mathematics Nigeria. It's Rose here. So today we'll be treating algebra. What is algebra and why do we need to know about algebra? What is its application in the real world? We'll be answering all of those questions today. So I want you to imagine this. Imagine you have a box full of toys in it and you can't tell how many toys are in that box. That is where algebra comes to play. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen questions like this in your quantitative analysis where you are given a box plus two and then you're asked to determine what box represents. So in algebra, we usually use letters to represent the unknown. In this case, we do not know what the box represents. We do not know what we need to add to two to get three. Does that make sense? So you could use any letter at all. You could use X, Y, Z, R, T, whatever letter you can think of. So in this case, we're going to have So this is what algebra is all about. It's us trying to get the unknown, right? So you could say algebra is a branch of mathematics that helps us to express problems, mathematical expressions or equations, as the case may be. Don't worry, you're going to know the difference between an algebraic expression and algebraic equation as we go further. So of course, some of us already know what x is in this case. But for the ones who do not know, we're going to tell you how to get it. So of course, you know that you can collect the like terms. When we say like terms, we mean things that look alike. So two things I need you to take note of here are we know this is called an algebraic equation because there's an equation sign, right? So now this x is the unknown. It can also be called a variable. So from what we have here, what is a variable? A variable is that quantity that you do not know. It could change. It could be anything. In this case, the variable could be 10. It could be 1. It could be 9. It could be any value until we find it would know what the value is right and then this constant constant in mathematics is a case where you already know it's fixed like the meaning in the english language it's fixed you know what a constant is we know two is two we know three is three but variables change we do not know until we solve to know what it is i hope that made sense right so this is an algebraic equation because there is an equation sign. So in the case where you have something like this, this is an algebraic expression because we don't have an equal sign. So it's not an equation, it's an expression. You're expressing something, right? So you could say that algebra is a branch of mathematics that involves using letters and numbers to try to solve or just show a mathematical expression or equation in a layman's understanding right so wherever you hear about algebra i'm sure you do algebra all the time you always see letters always in mathematics and we ask why do we have t what is t doing here it's only representing something and let's solve examples okay so i haven't learned all of this that we spoke about Let's have examples of algebraic expression. Remember we said expression is a case where you don't have an equation sign, right? Okay, so now you're going to think of your alphabet, your letters, rearrange them, and then the ones that look alike, we'll call them family, bring them together, solve them, and you're good. So let's try that. So here we have four, x, y. So let's search for another one that has x and y. Does this have x and y? No. 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 So let's move on. So you have 3x, z. Let's search for another one that has x, z. Does this have x, z? No. Does this have x, z? Yes, it does. It has x, z. So let's bring it closer. So minus 5x, z. Just rearrange it. 
There is no problem, it's commutative. Okay, moving to the third one. So we're going to check does any other one has ZY? So we have this which is no, it doesn't have ZY, but this has ZY. So you can just rearrange it, or rather you can say Y, Z, whatever the case may be. But because we are following the alphabet, we're going to rearrange it to Y, Z. But it is multiplication. It is commutative in mathematics. You know that it doesn't change anything. Y Z is the same as Z Y. Okay, don't worry about it. We know that this doesn't have a sibling, so it stays alone, right? This has a sibling, and I think on this channel we've treated addition and subtraction of numbers. I'm going to link a video up here if you cannot remember, but. I know very well that we've treated this. Okay, so you have plus three and minus five. This is how I want you to always do it. Just imagine that these letters are not there for now. Treat the numbers first, okay? Because the letters do not change. It's the numbers you're trying to add together. So plus three minus five tells you that. As for many of you that remember, we had different methods for it. You have three and you have only five. So at the end of the day, you're only two. Do you get that? I hope you did. So you have minus two xz, and then moving to this next one, the siblings, you have minus six. There's a one here. So minus six plus one is, you're only six, and you have one in your pocket. So when you give one, you're only five. So that's minus five y z. Okay, let's do another example so you will understand. So I know some of you have already solved or attempted to solve this, but for as many of us who have not, let's do this together. What did we say? The first thing first, try to look for the ones who have the same letters and bring them together because they are siblings in this case, okay? So we have 2 minus 2a, two don't forget your signs. So let's look for another one that has a, just a. This doesn't have just a, this has just a. Bring it closer, right? This doesn't have just a, so let's move on. Taking the next one. This is already gone, so we have this. Remember, you can rearrange your letters so they look alike, right? Right, so minus two plus one. There's a one here. So minus 2 plus 1 is you're owing 2 and you have 1. When you give 1, how much left are you owing? Minus 8. But you're still owing 1, right? So there's a 1 here, which would not right. And then for the next one, remember you can always put it in brackets if you don't want to be confused about what is going on. But if you're good, you can leave it without the bracket. So in this case, we have plus 4 and then we have minus 4. So you have 4, you're going for 4, 4 minus 4, 0. So that is gone. This is gone. This is 0. So in this case, your answer is minus A, right? So remember, this is an expression because there is no equal sign. But the thing you need to know here is make sure that you have the letters that look alike coming together so you can solve them. If they don't look alike, leave them to stand alone. You don't have to do anything about it. You don't have to change anything about it. Just put it there as it is. So let's solve another example so it can make more sense, right? Remember the first thing we said, whenever you see a problem, just breathe in and out. And tell the problem, you're not a problem. I can solve you, okay? <laughs> and then the next thing is look for what looks alike, right? We arrange the letters alphabetically so it can make more sense to you. So starting with this one, we have 2PQ. So let's look for PQ, right? So there's no PQ here, there's no PQ here, there's no PQ here. There's QP here, which is same as PQ. So bring it here, 3PQ. So moving on to the second one, we have 4PR. I hope P comes before R. R, S, T, U, V, good, okay. So for PR, so let's look for PR. Is there PR anywhere? No. There's no PR anywhere, so let's move forward. So we have QR. 
So we have RQ here, which is the same as QR, so minus 2, QR, and that's it, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So solving it, 2 plus 3 is 5. So this will give us, can we move here? So we can have it here, okay. So PQ plus 3PQ is 5, PQ, right? This is a wrong. We don't have any other PR, so just write it for PR. And then solving this, which is our QR, we have plus 1 here, and we have minus 2 here. Remember, you have 1, you're going to. If you give 1, how much are you only left? That's minus 1, right? So that's minus QR. This is your final answer for this. Okay? So I hope with this, three examples. I don't want to be on your, on your way. I hope with this example we've been able to make sense of an algebraic expression, right? So you're going to have your own work to do as always. All right, so let's just give you one to do. This is yours to do, okay? Tell us what you have at the end of the day and we'll be in the comment section. Not judging you, but We'll be assessing you in the comment section, okay? So, so let's summarize all that we've done today, okay? So whenever you hear algebra, do not panic. We just know that we have a situation of letters with numbers, okay? And it's a branch of mathematics. It's a wide branch of mathematics. You have metrics, matrices, you have your linear equation, quadratic equation. You have so much in algebra, okay? It's a branch of mathematics that helps you to express real life problem using mathematical expressions or equations. And you can find them in proportions, interest, just finance in most cases, right? You're just trying to solve what to expect at the end of the day or in a case where you just have to just call it like terms and just to get an answer, right? So we'll see you in the next class, which is going to treat algebraic equations, trying to find the unknown, what problems, and all of that. Do not forget, as always, please like, comment, that's, give us your answers in the comment section. Let us know the next topics you'd love to see. Subscribe, share, so your friends can learn too and we'll always be here to answer your questions you do well to follow us on all other social media platforms we're here to serve you okay see you in the next class bye